you just need a little bit of a refresher as to what's going on in our campaigns, you can find that information over on our fandom wiki. There you'll find info about our PCs, our NPCs, and write-ups of all of our past episodes. But if reading isn't really your thing, you can also find arcs of our campaigns summarized in neat little 10-minute videos over on our YouTube, where you can also catch all of our past broadcasts. Thanks so much for watching, and welcome in! Ding! Hi everyone! Uh, welcome ab aboard to the Welcome In. Uh, I'm Dylan or Super Dylan uh, everywhere on the internet and I'm really excited to be here and play uh, this game Guys and Chairs for you all. I'm joined by really amazing awesome people uh, today and I would like for them to say hi and share who they are, uh, their pronouns and, and where you can find them. Uh, can we start maybe with Brandy? Yeah, sure. Hi, everybody. I am Brandy Rose. You guys probably see me around on Twitter at the Brandy Rose or on Twitch at Cutest Patoot. Uh, I am a creative, di uh, creative director, creative producer, and talk show host. Uh, that is what you'll mostly see me in, but you've probably seen me in a million actual plays because I don't know how to say no to a project. So uh, make sure to keep up with my shows, the newest of which is coming out soon in conjunction with the Roll app, uh, who has been so generous as to buy the show for me. Uh, so soon the show Roll With It, where um, our very own Dylan is actually uh, the first episode that I ever shot. Um, so that episode and many, many more will be coming out very, very soon on twitch.tv slash cutispatoot. So keep an eye out on that and keep an eye out on the Twitter at the Brandy Rose, where you'll see all of the games that I design, all of the game design streams that I do. And if you put Brandy Rose into Spotify, you about get knocked out with the many the shows that are already out. So yeah, sure there are so out. many, and they're all yes. quality too. Like thank they're you, all so you. good. Yeah, thank yeah. Five stars all the way. Yes. Uh, speaking of five stars, Kappa, say hi. Hello! Uh, my name is Christian, but better known as Kappa in online spaces. You can find me on Twitter at the Kappa Chris. I voice act, I perform, and just general personality in the TTRPG space. Um, I am one of the people that help produce Friends Who Roll Dice. So at Friends Roll Dice on Twitter, uh, we do charity streams and, and product highlights and conversations with marginalized people in order, uh, in efforts to uplift them and uh, you know saturate the space with with more more diverse content we love to see it um i'm also on a couple of shows you can find me on roads uncharted the actual play podcast the first actual play podcast in the genesis system um by fantasy flight games um every friday releases on your favorite um podcast platforms and every wednesday night uh revenge of the crit a star wars uh, game uh, a 5e game sk skinned for the Star Wars universe set in between episodes two and three and I have a bunch of other projects that either I I forgot about or there's 
I don't have enough information about to promote. So just uh, Twitter. Twitter's the best place to find all that stuff. Um, thank yes. you. Move on for me. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> You're amazing is what you are. Husha, hello. Hi, I'm AJ, also known as Husha Kid. I'm a video editor, transcriber, streamer, voice actor, and producer. You can find me on the three social T's of social media, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok as Husha underscore kid. I, uh, I am... I will be showing up tomorrow, most likely, uh, on Critical Misses uh, in their uh, 1985 games partnered show, King's Guard, where I play the proclaimed King of Gloria, Eugene Festifigur, uh, Man of Sea and Stars. We are stressed. It's fun time, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, on this Tuesday, you can also find me on Misty Mountain Legends, where uh, we are doing the D&D 5e campaign, mm -hmm. uh, Fallon Friends, where I play Dol Fitzgerald, your cool bro halfling cleric, Domain of the Waterfowl. Uh, and uh, this Thursday, I will be producing the show, uh, Advanced Students, over on the Critical Misses, a masks campaign. So if you like superheroes, come join us for some more superhero stuff on thursdays uh and yeah that's that's what i do i just do ttrpg stuff and nerd stuff as you can see i have a lot of nerd stuff <laughs> Tons, and it's all good and all the stuff you do over at critical miss is amazing um andre mm -hmm. uh hey everybody uh, my name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Rivera Art on Twitter and other places when I do things. Uh, mostly Twitter. Uh, you can also find me on Total Party Kiss on various days of the week. Uh, you can find me typically on Sundays, uh, a little after start time right now uh, at 8.30 p.m. EST uh, for Tragedy Theologian, which is our uh, Greek mythology campaign that's running over there. Uh, you can also find me uh, in the next few weeks uh, running the Unicorn Hunt, which is uh, a long shot that my friend Alex at Aldermancy and I are uh, co-GMing in the trophy system that Dylan is also a player in. It's also related to my thesis work, which is super fun. Um, and I also play with Dylan here on the Welcome In on the Atomless, which is every other Wednesday. I believe we have an episode coming out this Wednesday of Air Day. Yes. Um, I am also an artist. Uh, I'm currently in art school, uh, and you should definitely check my Twitter if my commissions are open, which they are not right now. But keep an eye out. Yeah. All right. You're all fantastic. Everybody's awesome. Uh, and I think that we have to pass it back to the governor. But before we do, I just want to also say that if I am at low video quality or cutting in and out at all, I do apologize. I'm in the process of moving and don't have Wi-Fi. So I'm doing this in a, in a, in a chunky sort of way. So I apologize if I'm not at my best. Uh, but I then am passing it back to the welcome in to make all of their fun announcements. Thank you, Dylan. <clears throat> in a world where not all of your wins or ins are oh my lord i already screwed it up <clears throat> from the top my friends in a world where not all ins are welcome we bring you a schedule of fantastic programs this wednesday my friends join us as the fearless fighters of the atomless crew Take to the stars! That'll be March 2nd, so be there. Following that on Friday, our heroes of Off the Rails are facing down a dangerous dinosaur foe. March 4th, that's Friday again. And of course, the mystery crew of Conundrum Company will be fighting off all of those conundrums on Saturday, March 5th. So stick with us for all of that fantastic programming. Now, our heroes couldn't do what they do without our wonderful sponsors over at... Skull Splitter Dice. 
<laughs> Skull Splitter Dice is the chosen tool of our heroes for taking on evil and fighting crime. Skull Splitter Dice, guys, not only do they give away a fantastic prize during our shows, which we will be drawing at the end of this show, so stick with us through to the end to see who wins, but they also make a bunch of very quality dice. Now, my friends, remember, check out Skull Splitter. The link is in chat. Now. All of that said and done, we just want to remind everybody who's there in chat and watching the show that we ask all of our folks before spending bits, doing subscriptions, or any of those things to instead consider donating. This month's charity is the ACLU. The, we would like folks to focus on donating to, again, the American Civil Liberties Union. Uh, the ACLU has been at the center of nearly every major civil liberties battle in the U.S. for over 100 years. Its vital work depends on the support of the ACLU members in all 50 states and beyond. This is a crucial, char crucial charity throughout the entire year, obviously, and, and folks should continue to donate it to it, whether this month ends for us or not. So please click on the link in chat. We've been asking folks, if you forget something, hey, donate $5 to the ACLU. I owe like, like $100 at this point, so there you go. Uh, donate to the ACLU, and with that, I pass it back to you, Super Dylan. Thank you. Good luck, heroes! Thanks, bud. Uh, all right. Well, we are playing a game called Guys and Chairs. It's a one-page RPG. It's incredibly simple. I wrote it, so it's definitely simple. Uh, and you can find it on my itch under the name Super Dylan if you would like to try it. Uh, in this game, we will not be playing superheroes. We will be playing the best friends or closest supporters of a group of superheroes. Um, and... To to get things started, uh, my unremarkable, not special, no superpowers, my plain and wonderful best friends, you find yourselves in a familiar basement. You've been here before uh, at, at times during certain crises that have occurred never all together at the same time because tonight is different tonight the news has broken out into a frenzy that something has gone wrong on the moon there is there have been sightings of a shadowy figure up there scientists are baffled and your friends have all decided to take on this looming and harrowing project, but they need all your help at once. In this room, we have a couple of computers, a phone, and most importantly, there is a nameless um, speaker uh, type of thing that is based loosely on an Alexa uh, in the center of the room connected to every computer TV monitor in here. Uh, who are you and where would you find yourself stationed? Uh, I can go ahead. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my character um, is, uh, is, is Charles Irwin. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, is often called Chuck, um, and uh, he is stationed uh, closest to the window. Has a couple of uh, potted plants nearby, like a succulent, uh, and mm -hmm. has a little hanging spider plant uh, from the ceiling. Yeah. Um, and uh, next to all of the uh, plants is also a very large stack of thick, heavy encyclopedias. Um, and National Geographic's, and just reference books. Mm hmm Awesome. Uh, what about, uh, AJ? Where, where would your character be? So, uh, my character, Z, uh, he would be probably, like, half on a chair in front of a computer and half kind of sitting upside down on the chair and just like messing mm -hmm. with some kind of device that he has fixing uh, up his uh, communicator watch uh, 
and uh, and just stood on his face. Kind of clearly just came from like a college class because his book bag is just spr- like stuffed underneath the desk. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like keeping an eye on the screens while also just tinkering around. Perfect, perfect. Uh, what about uh, Brandy? What about your character? Uh, my character, Nima, is probably like standing, very dynamic, high energy, uh, high f- frantic energy, depending on where we are with this moon catastrophe situation. But uh, she is like standing at a workbench, tinkering with probably the backup cuffs or a new <laughs> modifier for her super or some new or otherwise still untrustworthy project that she is just fiddling with and in her ear there's like this very 2000s sized um little bluetooth little communicator with a little mic and it's like it's it's very clearly an apple product because it's uh it's all white with the little y2k apple blue that Mm -hmm. they used to have before they made their computers ugly Yes. Thank you. They are objectively ugly now. Thank you. Uh, I say as I sit at my iMac. I got, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, <laughs> um, and, uh, Kappa, where's your character? Uh, Cliff, um, is, has, went out on an errand and <clears throat> is now coming back down, the, opens the basement door and down comes Cliff carrying a stack of three, maybe four boxes. Maybe it's three boxes and a fourth, like smaller box, of uh, pizza and and wings for everyone. I'm sure it, very very welcomed. Make oh, sure, making sure, yeah, making sure Z. everyone is is is, fill, is full while we handle this this crisis. Z immediately stands up for this pizza. He's like, ah, sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, they, they, sorry, they didn't have um, green olives, but uh, I, I asked to, to I, I stopped by and procured uh, at the at the grocery store a can uh, a can of uh, other green olives in case anyone uh, wanted to add some extra toppings. Uh, uh, d- dig in, dig in. Can't can't save the world on an empty stomach, right? Right. Ah, oh, Cliff, you are the best. <laughs> I got through a lot of my classes, but just through monster energies and whatever was in the vending machine. So I don't know, but I'll take that. I'll take the, the chili pepper that's yeah. uh, in that box. Yeah, Nima just grabs one of the boxes, like one of the small boxes of wings, and like in its place, off of the stack, um, just like drops a small, much more teenage-sized gadget, and just like puts it there, and is like. And goes back to the station and now has like one hand tinkering, one hand wings. Yes. Uh, uh, Z takes the olives and proceeds to take another jar, pours all the juice out into the jar, and uh, takes the olives and puts some on the pizza and puts the jar away. And you don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something with it. <laughs> This is why we have beef. You hear that just across. You just hear that from Nima. It's like, this is this is why. Look, the solution of olive juice, the sodium that is in here, I need it. It's important, and the olives are just a bonus. At this moment, three lights uh, light up across the um, speaker in the center of the room, and a voice says... Might I direct you to the television? Which then turns on uh, and a news program pops up with footage live of the moon. There is uh, a a woman reading the teleprompter quite frantically. Uh, So this is uh, what we are getting live right now. Uh, It's hard to tell what this is. I am not sure. what it is and the image that zooms in is blurry and grainy uh but it appears to be a 
uh, a man wearing some sort of mech attachments on his hands. And he is like taking these giant clawed machinery attached to his arms and is taking chunks straight out of the moon, uh, digging right into it. Uh, you know that your friends are already on their way to this situation, uh, but you haven't gotten any calls yet. The TV then flicks off and the voice on the speaker says, I'll be here as usual to process any emergencies. Thanks, Jill. <laughs> that is not my name for the last time. <laughs> Uh, so that's, that's definitely going to mess with, like, its orbit in, like, the title sequences, right? Like, that's not just going to, like, be nothing. No, no, that's definitely, that's definitely, uh, messing with the ecosystem here. If anybody gets moody, we know what planet to blame it on. Uh, the, 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 the speaker in the center lights up three lights again and on the screen, uh, today's horoscope, uh, just comes up <laughs> and st starts scrolling by, um, interrupted, uh, you get Chuck, you get a call first, uh, your cell phone rings and it is your friend, the farmant on the other line. Uh, like the phone goes off with like one of those like more annoying uh, ringtones. It's like <laughs> like like an alarm sound. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, sorry, hold on. Hello, the the varmint. Daddy, it's Aggie. Chuck. Uh, sorry. Ah. <laughs> uh, Surprising, I'm headed to the moon. Oh, no, that wasn't surprising at all. Yeah, I, the, it's all yeah, the moon. I, I, yeah, well, it's surprising to me. I don't really know much about space. Uh, can I live on space? Can I be alive in the moon? Well, you know what? You made a very bold move because, um, I don't know if you know this, no animals live on the moon, so you're, you might have a rough time. Yeah, that was that was my concern. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna just try. You know what? Give it, give it a good old college try, right? Just see Thanks. see what works. Yeah, you Thanks. got this. I super appreciate it. Uh, what I would love though, uh, uh, can you figure out how? Because uh, I'm gonna have to get out there, uh, and I don't think I can like breathe. Is there a way? Um, <laughs> For me to be a rat and breathe on the moon. Do you think you could could help me out with that? Yeah. Uh, I think we can work on modifying your suit so it changes with your body. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? You get on that. Get back to me. Okay. Uh, I will uh, just be on a ship on my way to the moon. No big deal. Sounds good, Teddy. Hey. <laughs> no cheesing around. Okay. Uh, now I want cheese, man. Why'd you do that? That was, that was Cliff's line. He wanted me to say. What? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry about. It. I'll see you later, Teddy. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Uh, and the phone call ends, and uh, the speaker lights up again, and awaiting instructions to acquire. Breathing modifications. Uh, okay. So, should I roll? So, at this point, you have, uh, this is our first, our first kind of, uh, skill check of the game. You have the final say on which two people in this room get to help do this. Okay. It could be you and someone else. It could be two separate people. They can make a case for who's going to be the best person for the job, and then the two of you will roll together. Okay. I'm going to say either Nima or uh, 
AJ, what was your character's name? Z. Z. Either Nima or Z. Help me. Uh, mm -hmm. I think. What were. Because you're both gadgeteers, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh. Could you say that again? Do I get. Can I use both of them or do I have to pick one? You can use both of them and then you don't get to help. Oh, so yeah. You that's either fine. get yourself. I would, yep. I'd rather them. Okay. Uh, oh, that would be really fun. <laughs> so, Z, <laughs> you want Z and Nima to help you out. Mm. I, I uh, think Z Chuck just calls over, is like, uh, y'all are a lot more proficient with like the the suit nanobytes or nano, what are they called? Nano. Nano bits, nanotechnology, Nano nanobots. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm used to living things. Um, uh, yeah, if uh, we're worried about environment because you know they turn into like animals, so worried about their suit. Oh, rats, right? Rats and uh, you know the other animals, you know. But did they specifically they say that they're going to change it to a rat? They did. He did. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we we need we need some kind of suit that yeah is breathable, but just straps on basically to their form, whichever, however. However, they it, so it's it's off. You know, a lot like uh like bubbles just popping mm -hmm. off and then coming mm -hmm. back together. So right. it would need to be. Hmm. All right. It would need to be like porous. It needs to be stretchy. It needs to be able to be small, but it also needs to be able to hold oxygen, or you're going to have a lot of really tiny vacuum-sealed dead rats. Yeah, I think uh, mostly we got to uh, adjust this collar and make it convert the void of space into oxygen. Or be able to grab the oxygen that's in space, even how little there is. And y'all know how to do that? Sure. Uh, I think there's no oxygen in space. <laughs> but now you were so unsure that I am unsure if there's oxygen in space. You know but what? But you know? Yeah. That's fine. Well, we can, you know what? Let's just grab one of those tanks, uh, some of the oxygen tanks. I'm sure we have like 80 laying around here. What do you mean? This yeah. is not our first rodeo. Um. Sure. And if we can put the oxygen in a tank made of the same material as the suit, and we program the suit to be able to split off in two smaller sections, how many rats? How, how many rats do they usually turn into? Just one. Oh, just the one. Oh, well, that's fine. Just, just one rat. So oh, that's it, totally it'll, fine. It'll be. You just gotta find a way to like resize it. Get small. Yeah. All I have to do is get cool. small. Cool. Yeah. Just quantum particles. It's fine. It's fine. Mm -hmm. No worries. No worries about that. So, my two gadgeteers, please both roll on your brain skill to see if this goes off without a hitch. Okay, so what dice are we rolling? Uh, D6. Okay. Yeah. All right, I've got a four plus three, so that is a very lovely step. That's uh, a good start. I got also a four plus three. Nice. Nice. All right. So this succeeds very well. Uh, you you create a an adaptive suit that can change form uh, with the varmint so that when they change shape into whichever animal form, it will switch right. along. Uh specifically the rat uh, form and and goes back and forth. Um, the uh, the voice from the speaker uh, says, thank you, uh, please uh, stand by. And the item kind of disappears and is sent on its way. Fancy. Uh, yeah, very, very fancy. And the news switches back on again uh, to show footage of your friends now on the moon 
fighting this creature, uh, and uh, the varmint now has a very fancy looking new suit for you to look at. Success. Mm hmm. Very well done. Uh, unfortunately, the TV clicks off again, and it isn't long before Nima gets a call. So, headset starts to uh, ring. What's the actual ringtone I have in real life, which is one of the theme songs from Charlie's Angels, uh, the 2000s <laughs> movies. And uh, so that, song? but the 8 bit. Uh, it's the uh, oh. it's one of the themes from the end, so it's waiting for a girl like a Q, uh, but it's the eight bit version of that song, so that people okay. can hear it and okay, get like, cool. I know that. I just I don't know the added layer of potentially irritating people made it funnier to me. So uh, that starts playing <laughs> off uh, into the headset. She clicks it and goes, "Hey, babe, what's up?" Hi, darling. Sorry to bother you. No big deal. The sounds of crumbling rocks in the background and like people screaming and fighting and punching. Uh, anyway, nothing to mm -hmm. worry about. Uh, it's just that, um, well, see, uh, I seem to have broken several limbs uh, and uh, I, I'm having trouble holding up my, you know, holding up my weapons to fight. You you broke. You're on the moon. Yes. Very you're you're so much lighter on the moon, and you still you broke. I'm gonna kick your ass. Well, that it remains to be seen, darling. But oh my god. Okay. Well, um, first, please get out of like the line of fire. Uh, there is lunar water on the moon, so you should be able to teleport at least uh, several, I'd say up to 50 feet away from where you probably are right now. Uh, look for craters. They look like shadowed areas. It's actually water. Oh. Oh, how wonderful. And uh, she, she just kind of goes quiet for a moment and then comes back online. Oh, that is water. Mm -hmm. How delightful. Um... Anyway, I am going to need a big distraction. It's going to take me at least five or six minutes to heal. And frankly, dear, I don't trust that they can do this without me. I mean, you're right. Don't worry. I got you. I you. will text you back in three. Thank you. Bye. Don't die. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> All right. So I assume I also get to pick either someone to you work do. with or people. Ooh, okay, you, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Big distraction. Wait, uh, what? Because I know, I know fellow gadgeteer. What's everybody else's classification again? Motivational speaker. Ideal. It's going to broadcast you onto the moon, and you're going to make the villain feel really, really bad about wasting their potential. <laughs> okay. No, I'm joking. Oh my god, please. It's fine. We're gonna roll we'd have to roll so high. We'd have to roll so high. I'd have to break dice. Sorry. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh please. no. Uh yeah, Cliff is Cliff is just listening in on the conversation. He's like, wow, you Anima has a very strange relationship with uh with Siren. Uh yeah. yeah. Chuck looks over to Z and is like You know, Cliff, they're like a thing. Oh, like a, oh, like a thing. Oh, they're much too young for that. <laughs> Nima just looks up and is just like, I'm 24. M much too young. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Dad. Andre, what was your specification? Uh, I don't have a specification that's like listed, but uh, it's uh, brains three, resources two, empathy one. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, you know what? I I I do want to go with the motivational plan. That that was really funny, and it won't leave my brain. <laughs> um, so Nima just like claps her hands and goes, "Okay, I I'm gonna 
I'm gonna I'm gonna gadget. I'm gonna fidget a little bit. She like takes out two of the old communicators that they used to use before she upgraded to the uh, translucent pop blue uh, mm. 2000s ones, um, and she starts fiddling with them so that one of them can be sent as like a broadcaster over there. Um, and she just like looks at Cliff and is just like, "Hey, how good are you at um, Yelp tripping?" Well, but like it's... in a positive way. Well, it's um, it it is it, unfortunately uh, a strategy that um I use some I've used sometimes with uh with when Ray was uh was being belligerent as a child. So, um, I I'd say I I could I could step up to the to the task. Um, does it have to do with one of those devices that you just you've just pulled out? Mm-hmm. That that is very cool because I also have one of those and I pull out my my flip phone. <laughs> oh, great. And she just snatches it up and, like, starts opening it. Like, she's performing open-heart surgery. <laughs> and uh, and she is putting, like, stuff back and forth. She's moving, you know, relatively quickly. This is really easy for her. Her glasses keep sliding down. She keeps pushing them back up. Can you make she's sure that my rollover minutes don't go away? Just... Oh, I can upgrade you to unlimited data. It's a real easy click. Oh, that's a thing? Yeah. So she, she has now upgraded your phone heavily. You will get it back, and it will still be a phone, but it will also be now uh, synced up with one of the speaker devices that she was working on that now looks like a really tiny... Like, you guys ever see, like, when you go to an arcade and you win, like, a prize back in, like, 20 years ago, um, and you'd get, like... there would Some of the prizes would be keychains that were real things, but small. Like, yes. a tiny Tupperware. Yes. Or, like, a real... Yes. Just for no her. reason. And there's one that looks like a tiny megaphone, but it's actually a real megaphone, and it is loud as, like, all hell. And uh, she is now paired that up with your phone. So the megaphone uh, is ready to snap onto uh, one of Siren's uh, cuffs for power um, and, br- like, just really radiate across the whole moon. Sound waves might actually physically push the villain a little bit, make them listen. Uh, and it's just like, okay... When uh, when Siren gives me the signal, I will give you the signal. And I would like you to really channel, you know, Kid Turbo, belligerent teenager. But aim it at the villain and distract them for about... And, like, she looks at the time that's passed and it's just like, let's be safe, for five minutes. I would like them to question every life choice they've ever made, ideally. But really, I just need them to be busy thinking for long enough for for siren to heal okay okay i think i can do that yeah i think i think i can do that she puts a little 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 megaphone down so that it can disappear good boy right okay i assume it disappears and siren will text me or so Mm -hmm. the the megaphone so the the megaphone disappears uh, and the speaker comes online uh, in the middle of the room, and uh, the voice says, Cliff, uh, you have the microphone. It's all yours. Okay. Um, uh, hello, uh, this is Cliff speaking, and I am searching for the, uh, the, the, the one who is throwing a tantrum on the moon. Hello. Uh, I just gotta say, what a wasted potential. You, you must have, you must have set, like, all the smarts and brains in the world, such a talented individual, and you, you're wasting your talent on, on, on rocks. You could have been a lawyer, you could have been a doctor, you could, you could use your talents to, to help help other people here on earth and and i i just um i i i I know i know how hard it might be um but just give your grandmother a call she misses you so much ray you're doing wonderful honey okay i keep it up I love you. Okay, and then and then over 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 the speaker. I'll, okay, I'm um, I'm done. Do I? It's still the call is still going. Okay, I'm I'm done. Do I? How do I? How do I end the? Do I just? 
<laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, bye. And then... <laughs> uh, please, I would like... Uh, I would like Brandy for you to make a resources roll, and I would like for uh, Cliff to make a empathy roll. Okay, so five oh, plus boy. three—that's an eight. Nice, good start, Brandy. You don't Thanks. have, yeah. All right, good. Uh, solid. Um, so this goes off. Uh, the uh, speaker turns on and says. I will disconnect you <laughs> and cuts it off. Um, there's a notable silence for a while as uh, the TV has not turned back on with any news announcements for a few moments. Uh, you are waiting for either the next update or the next crisis. But there is pizza. Oh. Did I... Was that was that good? Was that Yeah. Did, did it work? Perfect. That okay. was great. That was really okay. great. That was I, I, I felt really bad. My grandma's dead and I want to give her a call. The, it was really I, good. I, I had to ch channel um Sharon from the PTA just absolutely does not <laughs> does not care uh, I feel like she, she's just living through uh Danny vicariously and and I, I've had a word with with Sharon um, about her parenting style and it just I wish she was more receptive and I really had the channel it was not a space that I really enjoyed being in but the situation called for it um whew, what a rush wow man being a parent sounds like <laughs> there's a lot of drama with that outside of having a kid <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's those were I'm two here. names I've never heard before and will never remember again. But good I'll luck, Aaron. I'll did you did you oh. accidentally call out your son's secret identity to them while on the phone? <laughs> yeah, you you definitely said Ray. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it it's okay it's okay the the whole team knows 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 ray and if we are successful uh the 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 big baddie on the moon is is <laughs> look there's there's a ton of rays on earth it, it could be short for other th it could just be a nickname exactly uh, um, raymond raymond mm -hmm. Sean. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. lots of different rays yeah, could, could be could could also you know be be not necessarily uh, Ray uh, Raymond could be uh, I don't know what's a what's a what's a non non boy Ray name. Um, who I, I, I don't know if you were a hippie, it could be Ray of Sunshine something. Of sunshine. I don't yeah. know. I don't. I don't Ray, need things. Ray La. Make <laughs> Rachel. Rachel, yeah, Rachel is is a Ray name. Raina. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it was just broadcast, uh, you know, probably on internationally on the moon. Yeah. Uh, you know, so and like but but you know maybe you know maybe maybe Kid Turbo didn't even react. So who knows who you were talking yeah. to? Yeah. 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 It, it'll I, it'll be uh, fine. Liz, I appreciate. Also, all uh, just just some housekeeping here. Um, we're not dating, Siren and I. We're not. Oh, mm, that's not. Are you? Okay. That's not oh, funny. I'm I'm so sorry. I thought I'm that's so sorry. Fine. Did... That's fine. Yeah, well, fine. that not my place, but amazing. No, just <laughs> think about think about think about what you want to what you know how you you know you you got <laughs> lots of life life ahead of you. What does can Kappa, what, can what you... am I supposed to think about? <laughs> Yeah, what? Lots of, what is lots the point of life ahead of you? Just I said, confuse the villain, not me. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Dan, what you what you got for me? I what does Cliff's ringtone sound like? C okay, uh, Cliff's ringtone. I mean, it's 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 a flip phone. It's like I'm not even like the the great flip phones. Like not even like the Motorola Razor flip phone. It's one of the default ringtones from. I hear in my head the Jurassic Park ringtone. 
Okay. Like the one that's like, do, 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 do. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like yeah, that one. Yeah, the old, yeah. the old, old flip phone ringtone. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, that goes off uh, oh. as you're having this, this verklempt conversation. Uh, and oh, I gotta, I, gotta I'm, I need to take this. Hold on. Hey, dad. <laughs> hey, Ray. Do it. You're doing wonderful out there. Yeah. G thanks. Guess, guess what? Nima upgraded me to unlimited minutes, so we don't have to worry about uh, uh, the phone plan anymore. How's it going? Super. Yeah. No, it's going swell. Uh, I just heard my name, uh, I don't know, over a megaphone? Where'd you get a megaphone? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so sorry about that. Your, your, you know, your dad's a little harebrained. Uh, but um, uh, the the megaphone came from from Nima, very talented uh, person. Um, you 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 remember Nima, right? Sirens Sirens um not not not, not dating. Sir, Sirens very good friend. Yeah, she's super cool, and like uh. You're kind of embarrassing me. I, I'm, I'm sorry, kid. I just trying to, trying to, trying to help out. Trying to help out. Uh, what do you? Is there anything you need? Um, is everything okay? You're, you're doing right, right? You stretched. You stretched beforehand. I, I, I totally stretched. I did like all the stretches, and everything's super fine. Okay. Uh, I totally got this. I don't need you at all. Oh. We're, we're good. Okay. Okay, if you do if you do need me, if you do need me, just um I uh, let me know and I can ask the team. Um yeah, I can ask the team if there's anything anything that that we can that we can do. Uh, I got I got pizza for when you get back, you know, and we we can talk talk all about it. Like you know, if we live through this and stuff, like I'm going to try to go out with the the other superheroes. Okay, okay. I'm okay. Gonna, like, you know, Okay. Um, but, well, you're 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 doing great. Who who knew you could breathe in space? Who knew you could breathe in space? That's wonderful. Yeah, it's like part of my really cool suit that I got. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Don't don't stay out too late, and um, uh, let me know when you're when you're coming home and who's gonna be with you. Okay. Um. I'll ring you as soon as we defeat the guy trying to destroy the moon. Okay. Okay. I love you. Uh, bye, Dad. Kick, kick, kick <laughs> Everyone, that was, that was, that was, that was Ray. And they're doing good. They're doing good. Hmm. 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 I think definitely friends? while, <laughs> while Nima was shying away from hearing their name, uh, Z definitely stole some wings. Uh. <laughs> there is a small. Has everybody here seen Spy Kids? All of them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Here? yes. At least yes. the second one. Yeah. The second one mm. is relevant here. Mm -hmm. Nima has a little bug, like Junie's bug. Oh, like the yes. little thing yeah. you get at start at, at McDonald's for a toy for about two months. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which I had and I dearly miss, and I think about every other day. Um, <laughs> that like. Is like just immediately the moment you stole a wing is just tailing you, death glare, <laughs> just green glowing. the The eyes do the cartoony thing where they shift down, like they have eyebrows and they turn red, and it's just like poised and staring at you. And normally, <laughs> if this happens, Nima calls it off. She's not calling it off. She's just, just like looking at it. Like, mm, Z is working. staring right back. Is like. You're lucky I respect Nima enough not to dissect you. I think it's gonna hiss at you. It's straight up like a display like a bombardier beetle. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the three lights flicker again, and the TV comes on. A news program, uh, still in progress, uh, is interrupted. The footage directly of the moon to provide an update. The now less frazzled uh, woman reading the teleprompter is pleased to report. Uh, it seems that our 
Our renowned superheroes are saving the day again. Uh, progress on the moon looks promising, uh, and we are getting reports that no further parts of the moon have been destroyed since they arrived. It seems that they are doing this uh, without any help and are absolutely saving all of us, and we cannot thank them enough. If you're hearing this, superheroes, the world is rooting for you, and the program cuts out. Uh, back to a quiet, a quiet basement. Cliff starts cla like just clapping at the <laughs> at the end of the broadcast. Cliff, who are you clapping for? It's just us. Do you, do you clap on airplanes? The broadcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. my god. We need to show the appreciation to the people who have provided this service. Us. I'm gonna we take the, the rage. I think that that incited deep within me and direct it. To towards Siren when she gets home tonight. <laughs> Look, I, I, I feel like they don't need to, I know it goes unspoken, they don't need to say it every single time they broadcast that they're doing it on their own I mean, <laughs> without it's, any help it's whatsoever. That like, I'm doing all of Teddy's like homework for school without credit. And this too, this, it's just a you're doing face. you're doing varmint's schoolwork. Well, yeah, because they had to like dip on, uh, dip out of class. I had to give I, I had to like go attend his classes and take his notes and stuff. My Ray would not do such a thing. And it's not I'd even like it a, it's not even a science class. It's like trigonometry. I hate it. Stupid. What would happen if you just didn't do that? Um, I don't know. He probably flunk out of school. So or, it's, like, it's like a win-win. Alternatively, he would learn how to balance his activities. Like a grown-ass, I don't know, farm brat. I meant to say rat. I did not mean to say brat. It's just, <laughs> it's just varmint is a, is a similar sound no, to no, the no, bee. No. You're right. Um, See, this is what this is why Frostbite's not in school. What does what does Frostbite do outside of like? Oh, he, he's part -time. part time, part time. Yeah, hasn't been fired for dipping out. Nice. See, see, here's the thing: we work at the same place, and mm -hmm. sometimes just to keep peace. I'll go in whenever I have some free time with a cloak, cloaker mask, and pretend to be him. Uh, oh, okay. Just so no one's the wiser. And Tian and I are just master students. Absolutely nobody cares where we are at any given time. See, you know, that's the ideal situation, mm. but... Mm. I can't wait till we're PhD candidates and nobody even knows where we're supposed to be. I can't wait. It's gonna be so practical. Wow. All we're of you are so, so uh, all of you are so smart. Wow. Just wait a minute. Cliff. Is Ray going to school? Yeah. Yeah, Ray Ray's Ray's going going to school. Um uh, what, I what? I had to call in to 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 the to the high school and let them know that Ray was going to be sick today. Um, they they it, it, it's 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 tough having to lie to the the principal and the and 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 the their their teachers, but the greater good, you know. We we want to make sure that the powers are used um in, to to help to help others and oh man. And, uh, like helping Ray with 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 schoolwork and missing out on all that stuff has taken a big toll. But um, how many absences does he have? Not 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 too many. Most of the most of the crime that 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 I that Ray is allowed to uh, take on is after school hours. Chuck, hold up. You get a another call on your phone. <laughs> okay. Nima has deleted half of the absences off of the school's record. Dang it! Got it to oh, it. Awesome. Got to wow. it before I did. 
Oh, it's okay, you can take the other half. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Hello. Uh, hey, uh, it's a fucking lobster. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> what? Oh, hold on. No. Allow me to rephrase. No. The guy's suit. It's a. It's like a lobster. All right. So. Oh, I you're not a lobster. A, I'm not a lobster. I'm not even a rat yet. I am looking at a lobster, and I gotta tell you, I don't know a lot about crustaceans. I, I. And again, I'm guessing that. But it's got. So the things it's using to dig. And he is clearly very panicked, and you hear the sound of um, that mechanical digging, like of of rocks again happening in the background. And the TV turns on to show distressing updates, uh, close up news. The guy previously just wearing these big claws um, on his hands uh, is now like encased in an entire mech suit uh, that is like suspiciously lobster like uh and the claws that he's using are are like scraping giant ch- uh chunks out of the moon uh <laughs> like uh sorry so uh yeah any help any ideas any uh advice i don't know how to fight a lobster it's also like three times the size of me when I'm a human. Okay. Uh, so yeah. All right. Give me a sec. I'm gonna I want to do some research on uh, the Nephropidae uh, family. Um, oh God, he hangs up. <laughs> oh. I'm trying my best. <laughs> hey, Cliff. <laughs> uh, yes. You ever cooked lobster? Oh, yes, all the time. You know, uh, you know what lobsters really like, um, in the morning? What? Cloffy. Oh my god! (laughs) Nima throws a wing straight at Cliff's head. I mean, just... Z was... Z was drinking some monster energy drink and just spit takes. (laughs) Uh, well, the robot they got over there, it's got, or it's an exoskeleton or something that's shaped like, we gotta crack this thing open like it's, like we're gonna make a, 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 a lobster chow or something. I don't know, what, what do you make with lobsters? I, I don't know. Ch- uh, chowder, bisque, uh, lobster nachos, sometimes. Nachos? <laughs> yeah. Nachos? Yeah, you take the lobster meat and and sprinkle it around yeah. with some uh, some cheese and some jalapenos and a little bit of salsa. Get some corn uh, corn chips up in there. Yeah, you know yeah, what's really knows. good? Lobster loaded mashed potatoes. I uh, wait a second, and she's start, she's gonna text Siren to like pick up Red Lobster on her way home. <laughs> ooh ooh ooh! Can she get the cheddar biscuits? No. Damn it. So the secret the secret to getting the most meat out of the lobster is to take it uh take the tail and take the the, the right behind the 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 shoulder joint if you will and bend it in and pops out just this big juicy thing of meat um it's actually one of uh I taught Ray how to do this last summer actually when we went camping um and then You were camping and you ate lobster? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Maine, Maine has some really great spots and campgrounds. Oh, you're in Maine. With... That's different. That's... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you just basically, like, reach your hand into any lake. You get a lobster. <laughs> you get a lobster. <laughs> you get a lobster. <laughs> Never That's going swimming in Maine ever in my life. That is a new fear unlocked. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, but okay. hey, I'm, good I'm idea. Have, I'm going to and... have uh, Cliff help me. This. Okay. I'm giving all t- all these different tips on how to get more meat out of the lobster, uh, just so that you don't have to deal with the shells. This is all right, Cl- uh, Cliff. What do you want to use for this? Because to me, this is not an empathy roll. This it's is definitely a. Not empathy. This is this is either a brains roll 
uh, just experience or uh, I, that that's I, it. That's all I got. Brains. Yeah, I think it's brains. All right, so roll <laughs> brains, and then for uh, for Chuck, what are we? What are we rolling here? Brains to to apply this knowledge? Uh, I think brains as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Ooh. Three eight? plus one, four. Uh, that's a one plus three. That's a four. Oh no. That is an eight. This is our first fail. Uh, on a on a crisis. Um, you you all uh basically come up with lots of great ways to cook lobster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> unfortunately, this is a this is a metal lobster, uh, a mm, giant yeah. metal robot lobster. Uh, so the traditional ways of cooking and preparing one is not going to work. Um, hey, still, Chuck, uh, uh, it's <laughs> too distracting with the dad jokes. Hey, Chuck, how does a lobster answer a phone? What? Shello. Oh. Cliff. Cliff, I'm trying to work here. <laughs> uh, Chuck, you just get another uh, call back from, from the varmint. I was just like, uh, sorry, didn't turn into chowder. Uh, we're still dying up here, but thank you. Uh, uh, tell, please, no more advice from the dad. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> tell, tell, tell them the, the shell joke. The, the sh shell -o joke. No, I want to hear the joke. <sighs> tell me. Oh, no. How do lobsters answer the phone? And you, you hear, like, like, mechanical fighting in the background. A couple of screams. How, Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> shell -o. If this is the last thing you ever say to me, Chuck, I'll never forgive you. I'll see you later, <laughs> bud. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, uh, it... It is not... Uh, <laughs> it is not much later um, that the... Uh, TV turns back on and a disturbing and solemn news broadcast uh, hushed in the room as the same reader says that we've just gotten word that one of the pieces broken off of the moon has detached and is hurtling through space towards Earth. Our heroes seem to be preoccupied with the situation at hand and we don't know who is going to stop this. TV cuts out. It's... A few seconds later, uh, Z, you get a call on your phone from Frostbite. Yep, it's definitely a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Frostbite's been working on his new, th uh, new theme song. Mm-hmm. Uh, Right. And what is uh, it like? It's very uh it, it's early stages, so it, it's it's very it's just instrumentals. Mm -hmm. Uh kind of Odd. kind of synthy. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh a little a little synthy and brassy. Mm -hmm. You know that thing that like brand new guitar players do where they're like bing Beep. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Hold on. Beep. 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 Oh, shit. <laughs> That's all I imagine. Yes. Yeah. So that kind of sound comes through your cell phone, and you yeah. know that it is frostbite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's uh? Go, 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 frostbite. What's up? Uh, yeah, dude. So, um. I saw this like piece of rock like fell it just fell right past me. Yeah. Um 
it's super unfortunate. Like I almost had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, totally almost had it. I, I kind of like can't leave right now because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. there's like a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Here, up here, like out in space. Yeah, gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, by the way, I like can mm -hmm. tell from the sound of your voice that you've had pizza recently. Is was it good? Like, you, you just sound the way that you sound when you've had pizza. This is why you're my best friend. This is why you're my yeah. best friend. You just know you know when I've had certain foods in my. But anyway, anyway, back to back yeah. to rock, back to rock, back to rock. It, it was good. It was yeah. Good. Oh, oh, it was good. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, don't just leave me hanging like that. Like, no, I no, wanted no, to no, know no, if no, it was no. good. Okay. Like, don't uh, leave me hanging like that. No. Thanks. Right. So anyway, yeah, this rock situation is like pretty bad. I don't know. Like somebody uh, was screaming about it. The varmint was like yelling about how the end of civilization and like the tides are going to, I don't know, uh, stop happening. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Um, so I'm pretty like stressed out about it. Mm, I'm sure you mm, can tell. Yeah. Um, can. That's that stress. Yeah. Down. You got the stress. Down. Yeah. I, sh I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have told him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna die. Yeah, the barman's like really freaked out about it, which, uh, to be honest, a little annoying. Kind of like high strong. I know that he's like a rat sometimes. Mm -hmm. Skittery, mm -hmm. you know, like real yeah. skittery. Um, mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I could just use some help stopping that from like happening. Gotcha. Would you like? Gotcha. Would you do that? Do you think you could like do uh, that? I, I think I, I think I can. Uh, I, I could do something. Okay, like that'd be real good because, like, you know, I don't, I don't want to live up here. Like the moon, like, kind of sucks. There's like no anything. I can't even like outside of the suit. You can't even like hear anything, mm -hmm. or you mm -hmm. like die. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Nice. Oh my God. So, anyway, like, anything you could do would be real sick. Uh, I would like to come home. I kind of want to, like, see what this pizza situation's all about. Oh, it don't seems worry. Pretty good. We, got, we got Zaz for you. We got some Zaz for Man. you. Man. Oh, you're the best. You're the best. Hey, mm -hmm. yeah. Look, did, has Siren called? She I, won't speak to me up here. Like, like, well, like, uh, don't get me wrong. No, she like talks. She acknowledged me. She mm -hmm. like yells at me to do things. Yeah. Like uh, in the field of battle, but like yeah, 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 did, yeah. but but like you know, if you're down there and you're you mm -hmm. know, you're hanging out with Nima, mm -hmm, like just mm -hmm, I just think she's just so cool. She's like she's like water, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I love water. Water is so cool. I know, I know, I know how much you love water. Yeah, it's like. Liquid, you know, you can be it. <laughs> I love water. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 she, she's definitely called. Um, but, uh, you know what you should do? What? You should definitely do combo moves but try try not to get too much in her way but combo moves combo moves mm -hmm. yeah. the beetle that was behind you is just gonna launch itself at the back of your head <laughs> god damn it <laughs> I, i'm gonna take i'm gonna take care of the, the the rock thing you 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 focus on that god damn it okay <laughs> combo moves all right later uh it hangs up the phone uh <laughs> uh yeah, so thoughts about the rock situation. All right. We got a rock hurtling towards Earth. Uh, we can see on the screen that the rock, like, do we see the on the screen the rock? Or? Uh, yeah, so this screen is now, like, muted, and you have this, this image of this rock getting, like, you know, very slowly, slowly bigger and bigger, closer and closer into the screen. You've got time. Yeah. Yeah. But not too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So. 
it's either we have technology to destroy it or set it off course. Uh, hmm. Would so, anyone... So... Chuck. Yeah. Where is the... If we could get the trajectory of this, where it, where is the nearby... Where is an area in which we can either put this towards that it won't hit and mess up anything really major? Is there somewhere on Earth that we can try to aim for? For okay. this uh, rock to hit, that it won't do too much damage, because I don't know how if we can destroy it. Sure. Per se. Well, okay. So right now, the current trajectory has the chunk aimed directly at New York City. Um, Oof, that's bad. That's that's oh, real that's bad. bad. That's very mm. bad. Um, mm. ideally we would want it in the Pacific because this Pacific is the most open ocean. However, we will have to settle for the Atlantic. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so ideally down that rift down the middle of the Atlantic. Um, and if we want it equidistant from the different continents, probably directly west of Morocco to a certain okay. degree. So you just oh. want to aim a tsunami at Morocco. We're not aiming a tsunami at Morocco. It's just we're trying to get it to impact the least amount of people directly, right? Yeah. If we can't destroy it. Right. Uh, we need it. We need it either. It's either destroy it or knock it off course that it does the least amount of damage. I... I saw a movie once where uh, they sent some oil drillers up to an asteroid to drill oh, into God. it and set off some some uh, some some nuclear bombs and blow it up into smaller pieces that would burn up in the atmosphere. It was a very good movie. Very good movie. It Recommend it. Horrible. Movie. I... Zero out of ten. Zero out of ten. <laughs> I do not think it's, we have it's the, called that fatherly kind of... guilt. The movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have enough time for that. Um, Nima, you're mm. clearly better at better at hacking than I am. Can we hack one of the Bye. satellites to uh, try to des destroy as much as of it while trying to knock it off course as much as possible? I mean, satellites don't have offenses. Well, there's, well, there's, there's got to be some militaristic space. Uh, wait, let me see. Let me see what what the U.S. has going on. Oh, 18. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. I'm yeah. surprised it's not more. That's off FBI. Uh. Okay. Uh. I. Th I think. I think. I think I could get in to have it. Uh. I think, honestly, I think we could probably eradicate it. I'm, I'm pretty sure we could blow it up, like, a lot. This is a lot of lasers. Um, it's an alarming amount of lasers. I'm gonna have to set them to self-destruct after this. This is too many lasers. Too many yeah. lasers. What's your so, hacker signature, by the way? I never asked. And, you know, good to get to know each other better. Oh, uh, you know, it's just the, uh... It's, uh... <laughs> Silver Ranger 12. Nice. Silver Ranger. Is that written out 12 or is that like 1-2? One, 1-2. Two? One, two. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, so That's I'm nice. going to be using uh, Shock and Nemo for this. Cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Amazing. Would you say this role is for resources or brain? So who who is rolling? Uh, I know I. Chuck and Nima. Chuck and Nima. Uh, what is Chuck doing? I know that Nima is trying to hack a, a satellite. Oh, uh, Chuck was uh, di like 
put in the trajectory uh, trajectory of where it would do the least damage. Got it. Got it. It doesn't okay. if it doesn't get destroyed completely. Okay, that's gonna be brains for Chuck then. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And then I would say I would say resources for um, really or or do you do you think it's it's gonna be brains? I I think it's brains because hacking hacking hard. Oh, hacking, hacking hard. hard. Hacking hard. Hacking hard. Okay, go for it. Go for it, okay. brains. Nine. Oh yeah. All right. There's pretty much no way to fail. But uh, I am I, curious. You're see. on an FBI watch list now, Z. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is? What is <sighs> out of curiosity, how high did Chuck roll? Uh, Chuck got an eight. Okay. Yeah. So punched. Um. Yeah, oh, so the satellites would blow up. And do you want these satellites to self-destruct afterwards? You did mention that. I do. Okay, great. Um, the satellites, a thing that no one knew that they could do. It. They um, they take an offensive stance against this meteor. Uh, and the news does not know how to report on this. It's just a ticker at the bottom has turned into question marks because the uh, the satellites have it, surrounded it, the meteor and are like sheep herding it. Out it's, it's just of... it's just a bunch of uh, of Twitter conspiracy because they have the Twitter feed sometimes on there. Yeah, they're all like... super accurate, but everybody thinks they're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, super hackers hack into satellites. Um, and they did. Uh, and the, the, the big, uh, meteor is moved out of the path of Earth completely. Uh, no need to crash into the ocean. It kind of just flies by. Um, some news sources slightly concerned that the moon needed that. Uh, that maybe it is important. But it is not going to hit the Earth, and they're happy about that. And that the moon needed that rock back. That piece of the moon piece. that was taken and thrown into space. Some some officials are a little bit concerned about it. However, it did not hit the Earth. Damn. Very relieved. How big of a chunk was this thing? That t- okay. <laughs> it was a big chunk. Mm, big old chunk. That's why I was so concerned you wanted to throw it into the ocean. I was like, have you not seen <laughs> any movies? <laughs> well, you know. Have you not Look, seen the it, day after tomorrow? <laughs> Look, some of it, some of it gets burned up, burned up in the atmosphere. and That makes it Look. worse. A flaming <laughs> ball of destruction. Is what that becomes. <laughs> gets harder. So, okay. See, and this is why... I hacked the satellites. Again. That's why I asked you to hack the satellite, Super Hacker. That's, Mm -hmm. again, Mm -hmm. would like to reiterate, I'm a zoology major. (laughs) Y'all tasked me with geopolitics right then, and it was just a little outside of my comfort zone. (laughs) I mean, your calculations were correct. It's not your fault you were asked a question. Could have uh, I could have called my buddy Chet. He's an oil driller. He <laughs> loves to go. He loves space. Oh no! Why oil driller? <laughs> Do not. Don't even. And the what's the name of the Alexa? Like the actual name of the Alexa that we have? Um, let's I'm go Jill. with Jill. It's, it's not, not Jill. Jill. It's, it's not, not Jill. Jill. It's not Jill. It's not Jill. Uh, she comes online and says, uh, "For the last time, my name is B." Oh, B. Oh, Blacklist mm-hmm. the movie. Oh, is it Apocalypse Now? What, what no, Ar- 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 Armageddon. Ar- Armageddon. Armageddon. Sure, Armageddon. whatever. Same thing. Same title <laughs> sequence. Uh, yeah. Blacklist both of those. Out of safety, I have added both movies to the blacklist. I own it on they VHS, will... DVD, and LD. VHS. Says the one with a 2000s headpiece on 
from the football. <laughs> Nima, if necessary, I can erase VHS cassettes. That's And that's concerning. why you're my favorite. That's really concerning. <laughs> Just magnets. <laughs> Just magnets. Just magnets. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Incredible. Oh my god. At at this moment, the Nokia phone ringtone goes off again in Cliff's pocket. Go for Cliff. God. Dad, just say who you are. You say, hi, it's Cliff. That's what people say. Uh, I sorry. I want to throw a little fun spin on it, you know? Uh, yeah, I know. I get All right. I'm sorry. Look. Uh, Don't worry uh, about got... that giant rock. Uh, we took care of it. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, we're past the giant rock. Sorry. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, we, we, we got him. Uh. <gasps> And he's on the ship. Oh, I'll, I'll look at the the rest of the team. We they they got him. They they got they they got who you got who? Oh, uh, the lobster guy. Oh, the, lo- the lobster. lobster. Rock did you tell them my, guy. Did you tell them our, our lobster joke? I didn't. I you know I'll tell them when we uh, land. Um, and that's. That's sort of the problem uh, okay. that I'm having right now, um, because everybody uh, fought so hard that they kind of are all um, unconscious and in the back of the ship. Uh, and um, I am not the one who usually flies this thing. That um, is usually either Siren or uh, Frostbite. I- I'm not. I'm not okay. really. Okay. Equipped for this, okay. so uh, I kind of don't want to be on the moon anymore. So, K- K- kiddo, we'll bring you yeah. back home. Let me just let me let me see. Hang tight. And make sure everyone, uh, everyone is uh is uh in the recovery position in case they get up. Make sure they, you know, proud of you. I'll call you right back. Okay, on it. Hangs up the phone. Boy. So, good news. <laughs> Crisis averted. Everyone, everyone's good. Bad news. Everyone's knocked out except for Ray. Um, and Ray doesn't know how to fly the ship. Can we uh, 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 beam some sort of instruction manual? I could put y'all on the phone with Ray um, to to guide them through the the process. If that if that's okay. Does anybody here know how to fly a base ship? Wait, I, I, who here plays the most video games? <laughs> <laughs> to my understanding, that's correct. <laughs> yeah. So do you do you, do you play? What, what sort of? I played I played Pac Man and Tetris. Please say Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> I just got <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real gamer, guys. Um, no, Animal Crossing players are real gamers. I, I will die in this hill. Well, I, mm-hmm. oh, there's no doubt yeah. about it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah. you might not, but they will. Mm-hmm. So, so, um, can I? Z, is it okay if I if I put you on the phone to to guide um to, yeah. to guide Ray? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to call them back and make sure that they're in a space to to be receptive to your instruction, and uh, 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 bring everyone back home. They they really they really need to get off the moon. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I'm requesting the help of Z. Um, yeah. But but first I need to calm down. Kids. So Turbo. it's gonna be you. Yeah. So it's gonna be you and Z. Okay. Got it. Mm-hmm. Uh. So you uh, call uh Turbo Kid back up. Um. Hey. 
hey kiddo uh so <laughs> yeah uh don't worry you have you flying the spaceship is not as complicated as they as frostbite and and siren made, made it made it look like you have every uh every capability to do so um remember when we played uh a uh, mario kart when you were younger yeah yeah it's, it's going to I be remember. just it's going to be just like that so i'm on the phone i'm going to i'm going to put on uh frostbite's uh 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 Fr uh, wait, 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 Dad! I fell off Rainbow Road so many times. I don't think, I don't think that a little bird on a cloud is gonna come and get this spaceship back into orbit for me if I fail. But see, here's the thing: the reason why you fell off Rainbow Road is because I blue shelled you. And now that is true. You are really, <laughs> you are really aggressive. And now, and now we are blue shelling everyone in front of you with our support. All right, all right, put him on the phone. Okay. <laughs> He's out of line, but it's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass the phone over to Z. All right. Hey, hey, Kit Turbo. Um, Hi. So, look, we're going to keep on going with this Mario Kart uh, interpretation. It d You're going to be fine. There's an automated system in place that is already it's already going to be directed towards your already lined path. So it's, think of it as if you have the option of uh, the uh, the auto drive that you don't fall off the edge of the edge of the roads. Okay. But yeah, all you cool. all you need to all you need to do is you need to find you need to find uh the button that has the electrical discharge because you don't need rockets on the moon because there's a less terminal velocity and uh rockets on the moon doesn't really work because you don't have an atmosphere. So all you need is really an explosion. And that is what that button's for. It's usually a green button that has the electrical symbol on top of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So there's this button that says go on it. Do you think it's that one? That is not the button. That one sets off the rockets and <laughs> you will not go anywhere. You need okay. the other green button that has the electrical charge on it. Oh, okay. Okay. The one with like the Pikachu sign? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, Sweet. so you press that and then the next button you're you're gonna flip a latch to uh start retracting the landing gear and hold on to that steering wheel and you'll be good to go uh uh okay sounds simple enough can i get some rolls from uh so i want an empathy from our motivational speaker and i okay this is this is fun. Uh, so I would like a brains um, from our gadgeteer. Okay. But oh, just no. for fun, I kind of also I, I also kind of want to make it a, an empathy roll, just because you're trying to explain stuff to a teenager. Um, but no, I'll give you straight brains, and then uh, right. Kappa, you get to add one to your roll for yes. for helping out your own super. Okay. I rolled a one plus three plus one. Five. Okay. Five. Okay. <laughs> I rolled it. I rolled a one plus three. Four. No. Oh, no. <laughs> My boy. That's our second fail. Oh, um, <laughs> he definitely hit the go button. I really should have yeah. blue shelled him that. <laughs> <laughs> I really should not have blue shelled him as much as I did. I think yep. that it's it's really all the um, it's all of the the metaphors to Mario Kart. There's a lot of like steering wheel movement that does not need to happen. Uh, and the <laughs> ship uh, now it comes up onto the news that the ship is sort of like spiraling uh, within the moon's orbit now. 
uh, kind of stuck there. Um, the newscasters are luckily uh, blaming the the lobster villain for this somehow. Uh, they are all speculating that somehow this is the fault of the enemy and could not be the fault of our fearless heroes. Um, and then, Nima, you get a call from a trousy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's yet. Hey, cutie. Get some beauty sleep. Um, I got hit in the head with a stray rock. I hate that. Aww. Um, anyway, I've woken up and the ship is spinning. I thought it was my... Concussion, but apparently not. We are hurtling through space. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, you know, how, 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 you know, can you count to ten for me real quick, babe? Mm. Oh, loud. One, two. Darling, I'm bored. I want to come home. Uh, <laughs> okay. that's, <laughs> I'm going all right. I'm going to make it to the front of the ship. I see that they have the tiny one flying this thing, which is why I assume I'm dizzy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to get there. Uh, if you could, I don't think our usual landing spot will work since we're coming from... Oh. Yeah. Okay. Somewhere else. Uh, can you find us a spot, maybe somewhere where we won't yeah, explode absolutely. anything or hurt anyone? Or Absolutely. Do you think you could slow down the ship enough to actually use its landing gear? Ooh, no. I don't. Okay. So All it's right. going to well, be... Yeah. Well, there is a really, really big, pretty deep, man-made lake remember where we went camping a few weeks oh. ago yeah that was nice that was i nice. don't mm -hmm. like camping i just i did no. like there was a lot of water and i would like to go somewhere with water um yeah yeah, yeah. i think that might be the best place to land because mm. there's water and then you can teleport right you know how i always have the bathtub full for you to come in so uh, yeah. I think I think that that would work best. I think that would cushion <gasps> the blow. And there shouldn't be any campers right now since they should be closed for maintenance. So you know it'll get a little swampy, but uh, oh. shouldn't be too bad. Just a lake. That's good. That's good. Do you know that frost that frosty guy? I know. Keeps trying to say hi to me while I'm trying to fight. A lot. I know. I know, baby. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. I, you know, I texted you, but you were unconscious. But you know what? I will get us Red Lobster tonight, and we will watch Aquamarine, <gasps> I promise. Even, oh. I will not even mute it at some point. Oh, you're the best. Oh, I feel, I feel better now. Okay, I think I can fly. Uh, that's serious. I can, right. I can definitely fly. Sure. Uh, all right, so get. Yeah, Aquamarine um, will do. A landing spot, clear and uh, I'll, devoid of I people. Will text, I will send the coordinates uh, in a few minutes. Please just hey, tell the kid maybe to lay down, close his eyes or something. Oh, yeah. I put him in front of a fake screen and told him that he was still flying the plane. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. That sounds it's, smart. It's, yeah. Um, it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> Look I at will... you, a little genius with a concussion. I, you know, it just seemed funny at the time, but it's useful. I'm, I'm realizing now. Um, all right, I'll, I'll speak with you later. Mm -hmm. I'll see you when you get home. Mm -hmm. well, and I hang up. And uh, the television is still kind of playing this footage of the, the the ship spiraling and you do see it sort of level out and, and kind of just veer off course, uh, taking a more stable stance. Oh boy. 
you keep on talking about Red Lobster, and now I gotta, I gotta set an order to come to my house later of getting those cheddar biscuits, you know? <laughs> this is like real life. I will, Me? I will make, <laughs> I will make those biscuits if you Go first on. off get your get your mm. Mm -hmm. you need to get your hero to back up off my hero while she's working second of all mm -hmm. I need the coordinates to be exact and so it would just be better if both of our programs were running it at the same time. Okay. Mm hmm Uh Biscuits for getting getting frostbite to chill. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see mm -hmm. what you did there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I I yes. I'm trying you to see? ignore what you did there. Or I'm gonna put poison in the little biscuits. What? Hmm. <sighs> All right. I think I have some. Oh, I'm sorry. I should say that. Never. <laughs> yeah, we just need to get the coordinates. <laughs> Boy, there's this lake, and she'll like just explain. She'll pull up on the screen uh, mm -hmm. roughly, and it's just like we need to calculate exactly where in this lake because it's. I mean, it's a man-made lake. It's a touristy spot. It's very big. It's got fake. I mean, no, it's got real fish in it and everything. Fake fish. Who puts fake fish in a man-made lake? Real fish. I don't fish, obviously. Um, it's a big lake. We need to run like little quick little programs to say exactly where in this thing at the current velocity it should impact in order for everybody to survive and also not like wreck the whole place. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also mm -hmm. not drown because everybody else cannot just yeah travel through mm -hmm. water. So yeah, that's okay. that's. Good. Gonna we just have to we just have to run that and you have to get your super to chill. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no pun intended. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's easily done. <laughs> what are you going to do to get your super to chill? Oh, what am I going to get my super to chill? Um, mm -hmm. He is very distractible. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. And I can convince him to lay off a little bit more. You know, not not be mm -hmm. totally aggressive, and mm -hmm. and convince him to play it more coy. Oh my Shit. god! Oh no! <laughs> to. It's, okay. It's, <laughs> gotta gotta <laughs> let him think that if he backs off, she'll be more open. Does. But and I how, know how does that go exactly? <laughs> I know <laughs> that it. Oh, We're it's gonna definitely not going to work. It's just it's just going. It's going. He's yeah. going to back off. He's going to be like, ah, I'm being cool and mysterious, and. When in all reality, oh, okay. it's just like, it's just like, nah, you're just not gonna interact with her as much as you thought you would. Gotcha. Okay. Um. All right. Excellent. So Nima is gonna make brains roll to to get all this info on the the right leg and the timing and the the coordinates and things like that. And and Z, I think. To to kind of play this, you're gonna make an empathy roll. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, and add one brandy to Ooh. Nima's roll because you are rolling for your super. Yes. So I rolled a seven plus one is an eight. Nice. I rolled six, a four six, plus six. one. That's a five. Nice. Success. Good. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because you have one more uh, fail uh, left. So you you get the lake completely right. The coordinates are set. 
Uh, obviously, um, obviously, Etienne knows what she's doing. So once she's got all the information from you, she's able mm -hmm. to, you know, bring things down. Uh, and you are successfully able to get um, Frostbite to stop making puppy eyes and also trying to, like, find out everything about her because he thinks she's so cool. Um, so she's able to do this undistracted. Uh, you get a call uh, uh, shortly after the landing. Uh, Nima, you get a call from Etienne. Etienne. Hello. Hi. Uh, we landed. I am... I'm going to go for a swim. Actually, it seems like everything was perfect. Uh, and whatever you said... Um, good job because not bothering me at all right now in fact uh weirdly won't look at me and i almost almost concerning won't make any direct eye contact with me at all i i don't don't think about it no don't don't worry about it okay i'll be fine okay. i have to bake some some biscuits but you know that's okay yeah you can help yeah me. no good good uh, i'm gonna swim and then mm -hmm. I'm sure there's going to be like a whole press thing, you know. Uh, but once that's all done, I'll come home and um, we're going to eat lobster and watch those movies. Yep. We will absolutely watch a marathon of Aquamarine and The Little Mermaid and The Little Mermaid 2. And, oof, oof. you know, <laughs> You're it'll, the be, best. it'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll have dinner ready. Awesome. I'll see you uh, shortly. Um, mm -hmm. Have a good one. See you later. Bye. Uh, almost uh, as quickly, uh, Chuck, your phone rings, and it is the, the varmint. Oh, the, the, like, blaring horn goes off like, I'm so sorry. I gotta change. Hello? Hey, uh, who? yeah, that was, uh, wild. I went to, uh, yeah, I was asleep for a while. Um, I are didn't you... like, yeah, I get kicked in the head by that lobster thing. Are you concussed? Um, I don't know. How do you tell if you're concussed? You know what? Just <laughs> ride with someone else and I'll, I'll, I'll do a med check when you get here. Okay. Okay, sweet. Uh, look, dude, I am like, being on the moon makes you really tired, but also really hungry and and uh, and just like we need to like we need to go out and like weirdly, I want to eat lobster. <laughs> you know what's very interesting about lobsters <laughs> is that lobsters. I, I found this out while I was trying to look up stuff for um, for the, the robot guy, is that uh, lobsters were not considered, like, fine dining until, like, li like, like back in, like, the, the, the colonial days of, like, uh, like, the United States. Uh, they were, like, like, they were given to prisoners. They were, like, sea roaches. Oh. Well, I, 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 like, I don't, like, want them because I think they're fancy. I just kind of, like, killed a guy dressed as a lobster, and I think it would feel it would feel pretty victorious oh, to, like, like, eat a lobster. Like, I'd like, be, like, e you yeah. know, like, metaphorically, like, eating my victory. Does that, you know, make sense? Yeah, you. it's like, it's like a, a physical manifestation of, like, how you're, like, feeling or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you get it. So you I don't want to turn into a lobster. No, I don't want to turn into a lobster. Okay. First of all, um, he lost. So, like, why would I want to, like, do that? You know? So, right. Anyway. Uh, anyway, let's get, <laughs> let's get some lobster after I get back. Um, there's going to be, like, you a know what? Thing. You probably had a rough time because you traveled about three days distance in about three minutes. So, you know what? Yeah. It's... You're, you're probably a little dizzy. 
So just come by yeah. and we'll, we'll just lay on the couch and eat lobster, I guess. Sweet. That sounds really good. Yeah, I am really dizzy. It's alarming. I'll yeah. see you in a bit. All right, bye. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> you get a call, uh, Cliff from, from Kid Turbo immediately after. Hello, this is Cliff. You see how boring that is? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, it told me everything I needed to know. Yeah, in but there one was no, second. There was no flair, no pizzazz, no personality. I your personality you say hello by Lionel Richie next time. I heard that in the background mm -hmm. and I just want to say that you should not do that but also please Hello please by don't, Adele. Please don't tell me <laughs> I said that. Uh <laughs> but yeah, we like we like totally did it. We like yeah. We, we like the plane. absolutely I'm... have a lobster man in handcuffs right now and saved the moon. Yeah. Most of the yeah. moon. Yeah. So like <laughs> I am just saying maybe we could get the new PlayStation. That's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing it out there. I saved uh, the moon. You know what? I I think I think we can I think I think we can arrange getting and getting you that new uh uh play pl PlayStation play PlayStation and I'm looking over at Nima and uh and yeah, the I, PlayStation I, 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 I got this one five, five, five PlayStation five <laughs> I got this one <laughs> yeah or yeah. your GameCube awesome sick uh I am gonna come home I would like to have uh anything besides seafood for dinner please uh i think we've got I, are you are you okay with uh, uh jalapeno pineapple pizza i we also have meat lovers you know that i want jalapeno pizza thank you <laughs> all right yeah, yeah. no one Sick. no one touched it for some reason um so i have a whole one <laughs> <Weird>. for you <laughs> awesome all right, I'll I'll be right there. Apparently, there's a press thing, but I'll be I'll I'll be there after. Okay, proud of you. <laughs> Shut up! <All> right, bye. bye. <laughs> You're on the I phone. just want I just want just the whole thing of just <laughs> Cliff and and Kate and Kat, and Kit Turbo just. <laughs> Just all the time. <laughs> I would like to see a one shot where <laughs> Christian is the only guy in a chair and you have to help all our superheroes. Yes. Cliff. And none of us are there. All of us oh, took a vacation. Just Cliff. Just Cliff. <laughs> uh, I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. I bet yeah. you would. Absolutely. Um, uh, finally, Z, your phone is the last to go off. Um, and it is uh, it is frostbite on the other end. Hey, FB, what's up? Hey, um, what's you up to? Oh, you know, buying a uh, setting aside a GameCube and PlayStation Five. Ah, oh, sweet. Uh, well, like I, you know, I don't know. You want to play? Am I, you know, invited? I mean, we got, we got, we got, you know, we have all the systems at home. Well, I know, but like, yeah, yeah. like, well, I just, I'm like, I mean, we're feel... gonna, we, I'm gonna, we're gonna just, just before you go, ask, uh, ask, uh, Kid Turbo what, uh, what his handle is, and then you could play with him later. You think, like, you think Kid Turbo, like, wants to play with us? Yeah. Yeah. Chuck is just gonna whisper. Uh, uh, Daddy's handle is Ratman XX. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that's cool. Yeah, we're gonna get a whole we're gonna get a whole squad going. Uh, we need to beat that raid boss, so it'll be good to have some uh, the peeps 
in the party. I know it's usually just me and you, but yeah, you know how how good it would feel for a full team. Ugh, I guess, I guess it would be fine. It'd be pretty cool. I mean, we did like a good job today and stuff. Mm-hmm, so like mm-hmm, maybe we mm-hmm. would do good in like a video game. Do you Hell think yeah. that that like do you think that, that like matters? Do you think that like if you work well together and like in person, if it makes you work well together in a video game? Because it like or is that different? Do you think it? I would say it translates pretty well. I I feel like it translates very well from in person to video game. Uh, it, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time it does. Uh, that's like, that's pretty rad. Well, all right. Yeah. I think we should like definitely play, uh, some games tonight. I'm like really beat and I like, I feel like I did nothing today. It's like, but I'm like so tired, <laughs> but you almost caught a rock, uh, it was a considerably large chunk of rock, so I understand why uh, you almost got it. Oh, So yeah. you didn't do nothing. Oh, okay. Technically, almost doing something is doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, who said that? Was that, like, I uh, thought I heard... That was, that was, um... <laughs> Uh, that was that was uh 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 I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, bye. Uh, <laughs> the uh the phone hangs up. A few seconds later, the lights on uh B's speaker come on again. Um, and well done, friends. Uh, the heroes are home safely on Earth, uh, with the. Lobster villain apprehended. Please or dead. cast your eyes to the television for uh, the wrap up. And the TV turns on to a, a press segment that has anticipated them at the lake in which they landed. Uh, How? The. <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> Uh, the ship has like is like half peeking out of the lake. Uh, Siren is actually like laying on top of it, like sunbathing. Um, uh, the uh, rest are kind of uh, standing just at the shore of the lake. Um, and uh, there is a newscaster again reading from a prom- teleprompter, a different one this time. Uh, a gentleman who is uh, reading uh, and letting us know that the world is now safe once again, thanks to these beloved heroes. With the odds stacked against them and nothing but themselves, they have once again saved Earth from perpetual doom and destruction. And to that We thank them, we honor them, and may they watch over us for the rest of our existence. Thank you. Good night. And give us a little salute, and the news program ends. Cuts to commercial. I'm going to hack that. That long? (laughs) We are so retiring at 40. I hope so. (laughs) Existence, my ass. I'm so hacking that teleprompter. Got to stop you, saying what do you... that every single time. <laughs> no, this is just like a future note. Just next in the for future. Next time. Yeah, just in the future is like we got. I they gotta stop saying that. It's like it is only them. <laughs> they don't need to know that. They they can see it. That they don't need to. They don't need to say it every single time. <laughs> And uh, and with that, we are, you have saved the day successfully. Close, though. Two out of three failures. Uh, it was, I was very excited by the idea that we might have a, 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 a literal failure. Uh, oh but God. you did not. You saved the world. Uh, along with your, with your superhero friends. Um, so I would love for everybody 
watching to know where to find you on all of your other things because you're all the best people in the world. I don't remember which order I went in the last time, so I'm going to make it up again. Uh, so I'm going to start with Kappa this time. Hello, uh, my name is Christian, better known as Kappa in the TTRPG space. Both are good. Um, you can find me on Twitter at the Kappa Chris. I can, I'm also I appear on a few shows. Uh, the m most regular one, uh, m regular ones, Wednesday nights on uh, Twitch.tv slash K Kuto V A C O U T O V A. Uh, we play Revenge of the Crit, a Star Wars uh, five D and D five E game skin for Star Wars set in between Episodes two and three. It's a lot of fun. Uh, also on uh, Roads Uncharted, uh, I'm, I'm on that podcast. It's an actual play podcast, the first actual play podcast set in the Genesis system by Fantasy Flight Games. New episodes release every single Friday. We just started season three a couple weeks ago. It's it's a fun season, y'all. Um, you can find that anywhere you uh, find your favorite podcast. Um, more uh, pressing, I didn't mention this earlier, but on Tuesday, March 1st, I'm going to be on the Creators Assemble Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash creators assemble. And we're just gonna have a cool conversation. Um, they do all these great things that center TTRPGs uh, uh, around education for youths and all these really cool things. And they do some really fun stuff. So I'm really excited to have that conversation. If you wanna come out and support, uh, it's gonna be at 6 p.m. PSD, twitch.tv slash creators assemble. That's uh, most of the stuff that I feel comfortable talking about. Uh, thank you. This was a lot of fun. Sweet. Yeah, it was. You were awesome. Uh, Brandy, what about you? Hi, everybody. I am Brandy Rose. You can find me on Twitter at the Brandy Rose. Um, I also forgot to mention earlier, if you want to watch me in action, one of the shows that I'm currently in is Tuesdays at 6 p.m. PST on Roll20's Twitch. We are doing a limited run for Haunted West, a town called Hope. I'm really, really excited, um, really honored to be working with uh, such amazing like cast and amazing uh, storyteller. And it's just, it's been really, really fun. We're only one episode in, so you can absolutely still catch up. We're only going to be, uh, we're in a five episode run. So make sure you come on over and check us out. Uh, they even bumped us to the Twitch front page for the first hour of the stream. So make sure you come and say hi. Um, but apart from that, you can find all of my shows, all of my links under my card, which is on my Twitter. It's just brandyrose.carrd.co. Um, currently, uh, most recently, at least, I am the producer and host of Roll With It, Cam Girl Interrupted, Cringe Warning, Eat Crit. It's spinoff Quick Start, which starts airing soon. And I have a podcast that I am a co-host on that just launched called Chewing Gum for the Brain, where me, uh, someone with three degrees and half a PhD in linguistics, uh, one of my friends who is a licensed therapist, and another one of our friends, uh, Gliza, um, so Cassie the therapist and Gliza, are a very, very, very well-beloved uh, trash TV aficionado, uh, where the three of us watch Love is Blind, and we just go ham uh, analyzing and reading uh some of the people on the show but also we talk about like some more structural and integral issues with the show um and reality tv so if, if you are interested in that you should check that out it's currently only on speaker will be on spotify soon and uh if you like if you're queer and you like sports anime or if you like queer sports anime or if you just like anime and you'd like to hear two non-binary lesbians who are best friends bully each other for about an hour um, you should listen to Intricate Rituals, which currently has three volumes out on Spotify uh, and a fourth coming soon where the next one we're going to cover is Stars Align. So come uh, listen to that. We also have two new shows coming out pretty soon. The announcements are already on my Twitter, so you should keep an eye out for those. Um, and yeah, that is that is the the most of my of my things. There's, there's probably more, but God there's knows we'd be here definitely for definitely more. I, I know that there's more. Um, I... Uh, it's, and I, I think that Husha Kid should absolutely listen to your um, podcast about Love is Blind. Oh, I um, really am. I've, I've yeah. listened to the first episode already. Okay, good. I'm just <laughs> checking, just being sure. Uh, speaking of Husha Kid, please introduce and tell everybody how cool you are. Hi, I'm AJ, also known as Husha Kid. I'm a video editor, transcriber, streamer, voice actor, and producer. You can find me on the three T's of social media, Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok as Husha underscore kid. Uh, so on Mondays, you can find me on the 1985 
Games partner show Kingsguard, where I play the proclaimed king of Gloria, Eugene Festifigure, uh, that is DM'd by the lovely the Noir Enigma, uh, and it's it's just a great time. It's a very good time. Uh, this Tuesday, uh, and either it's either going to be the first Tuesday of every month or the first Wednesday of every month. We're still trying to figure out the scheduling. I am on Misty Mountain Legends for Fallen Friends, a D&D 5e actual play uh, where I play Dol Fitzgerald, your cool bro halfling cleric domain of the waterfowl. Uh, and I didn't mention this before. I am on a podcast named Through Hollow Flames, DM'd by the lovely It's the Riddler. Uh, and where an ancient series of trials are taking place and our travelers find themselves in the middle of it. Uh, my character, Boone Riffin, a half-orc, half and monk, and their companions are just just in the thick of it. Uh, and I'm trying to think what else I am doing. Oh, uh, we're going to see on Wednesday, tentatively, it's time for the best esports team you have ever seen, Dub Club. We win every single time, all wins, no losses. Do not check the VOD. It is me, Milan, aka at Mallard Man, and it's the Riddler, D. Uh, we play all games. We win every single time. If you do check the VOD, we are not liable to what happens to your computer and or internet if you do. Uh... I think that's I think that's that's all the things I'm in right now because all the other stuff that I'm going to be in is not ready yet. <laughs> like how many threats were in your promo? There were a lot of veiled <laughs> and unveiled ones. That was always good. I need glasses um, like that. What a vibe. <laughs> uh Andre, tell everybody how awesome you are. I think I'm pretty cool. Uh <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter mostly. Uh, once every like six months, I might stream on Twitch. We'll see. Uh, you can mostly find me uh, on Total Party Kiss, uh, where uh, I am a player in a long form campaign called Tragedy of the Theologian, which is a Greek mythology uh, campaign. We all play champions of different Olympian gods and non Olympian gods. Some are platonic. It's just fun um and i play kajimir my wild magic minotaur barbarian um and we're gearing up for a tournament arc with uh which is fun because he's also an ex-gladiator so come watch that if you're into uh fun reflavorings of greek mythos in a not greek setting so um you can also find me on total party kiss uh on some upcoming thursdays uh, uh gming the unicorn hunt uh alongside my my good friend Alex at Aldermancy, uh, which also has Dylan as a player in it. Um, it's about a doomed expedition uh, led by um, a group of mercenaries and sellswords and uh, financed by a big game hunter to try and hunt uh, the mythic unicorn in the woods and things go terribly wrong and it uses the trophy system, which is just the coolest. Um, yeah. Come watch that. That's also related to my thesis work, so that would mean a lot. Uh, you can also find me here on the Welcome In uh, every other Wednesday, uh, also alongside Dylan, um, in uh, the Atomless, which is a Starfinder RPG uh, campaign, uh, where I play a Theriac, a little, a little garlic scientist who's very morally gray, and <laughs> we have not really discussed that yet. Very nice, but very morally gray. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, you can also find me on Twitter, where uh, I will sometimes post art. Uh, and you can also check there if my commissions are open. Um, I do character designs, uh, caricatures, illustrations, uh, mostly for the TTRPG space, but for other things if you are also interested in other things. Uh, that yeah. is all. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, I am Dylan or Super Dylan, and I have GM'd this game, which I also wrote. It's available on itch, 
uh, io. If you search Super Dylan, you'll see all my games there. This one is only two dollars, and also there are some free copies available under the community copies perk. So go ahead and get the game for free. Link uh, in chat. And it, I can't do it. I've but already I, done it. it. Oh, thank you. Okay, <laughs> link, in, link in chat. Um, so you can do that. Uh, as Andre stated, I am here on Wednesdays for The Atomless. I'm on Thursdays on Total Party Kiss for Unicorn Hunt. Uh, I am on my own channel at Super Dylan, streaming lots of Dragon Age and Boyfriend Dungeon and other dating sims. Um, and uh, again, just you can follow me on Twitter and I'll just scream all the time about all the things that I'm doing. Uh, that's the best way to find me. And, uh, yeah, and to prep for this game, I would like to say that I just pulled up the discography for the B-52s. This... I figured. I, I figured because of Rock Lobster. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think that we need to throw it back to the governor. Do you have any welcome in things that need to be said? Oh my gosh, I do. And we also have a skull splitter dice drawing. But before we do that, yeah. can we do a big round of applause for Dylan again for GMing for us? Thank you so much. Love in chat. I, Bravo. Uh, Wonderful job. Sorry, I know, I know you hate it. Anyway, guys, <laughs> quick announcements, and then we'll do a drawing, my friends. Uh, okay, a huge thank you to our partners over at Soundtail. Guys, if you want ambiance for your game, Soundtail is an app that has all of that for you built into one quick, easy-to-use interface. It's royalty-free, so you can use it in your streams without any problems. You can put it on your iOS, you can put it on your Android device, your Apple device. And the really cool thing is, it has peer-to-peer -peer sharing, so you can provide a room code for your players that they can log into and listen to exactly what you are mixing and adding in there. Very good. Highly recommend it. It's been with us for a while, and we really enjoyed that app. A shout out to our affiliates, the first of whom is Found Familiar Coffee. Guys, if you use code WELCOMEIN when you're checking out at Found Familiar Coffee, you can get 10% off on your coffee order, and then you too can taste initiative. I hate myself. Uh, Crafty Gamer is awesome also. They make a lot of really cool D&D uh, &D peripherals like tea coasters and candles and things like that. Click on the link in chat if you like uh, like D&D scented candles. Who wouldn't like that? Click on the link. And then of course, last but not least, Arcan Anthems does help uh, by creating our intro songs. So a shout out to him. And then... Most importantly, a thank you to our wonderful mods who have been in chat modding it up like legends this evening. Uh, Just a Singing Geek and Stormcaller were both there handling that for us so that we don't have to. Mods, you make this community safe and wonderful and we would be lost without y'all. You keep up with my nonsense rambling, which is just a feat beyond comprehension to me. We appreciate you all. Stick with us, guys. We're going to do a quick drawing now. But, uh, Cast, can I get a, a, a drum roll while, while I cue this up? Can, can I? Yeah, drum. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we drum. go. And the winner is Epsilon Greater Than. Epsilon Greater Than, Epsilon. you just won a skull mug filled with approximately 100 of Skull Splitter Dice's finest dice. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it's a oh. lot of dice. That's a lot, a lot of okay. dice. Yeah, they are very genu generous, what? that company. They're wonderful to us. <laughs> So, Epsilon, we'll be reaching out to you if you're not in chat. We'll be sending you a message. Uh, but guys, show Skull Splitter some love. They are really, really good to us, and we very much appreciate them. And one final time, a huge thank you to our cast and to our Game Master. A big round of applause, and we are out of here, friends. Have a wonderful evening. Bye! Bye! Bye, Bye everyone. <laughs>